Welcome back in the second beginner workshop of how to play rough drum. Today we're going to talk about the hand-to-hand -hand playing. Have fun! Playing hand-to-hand -hand means switching from your right to your left hand and vice versa. Keeping up the rhythm of your hand you can either accentuate the stroke or play a ghost note which means slightly tipping the body of your instrument. Make sure that the accents are loud and the ghost notes are played in a quiet manner, so you can hear the melody you're intending to play. But before I getting started, I'll tell you more about the 4-4 time signature. Imagine this circle being a sequence of a rhythm. While traveling along the line, we will divide the circle in two halves. We now have two markers. One, two, one, two, one, two. If we divide this circle once again, we get four markers, which equals a 4-4 four, four time signature. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If we divide that circle yet again, we get eight markers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we can get started. Each of these markers can be linked to a sound of the rough. For the first marker, we're going to use the bass note of your rough drum. Down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. If you're right handed, you start with your right hand, and if you're left handed, you start with your left hand. And you play the tones alternating between left and right, left and right. On our fifth marker, we're gonna play a body stroke, which should sound like a snare drum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now you can play your first rhythm. In the next step, we're gonna link the third and the fourth marker, which are the only remaining ones played by the right hand, to a sound. You now pick two notes that you can play with your right hand to complete your melody. Now we're going to pick a note for the seventh marker. You're going to play with the left hand. Now pick a note that will go with your melody. Following this example, you can now create your own rhythms. Now, let's try another one. We will keep marker 1 and 5 and play a new rhythm. For example, this one. Da, 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 da. Thank you. 
I'm sure you will know the game by now. Pick the notes you like and place them on the markers you created before. If you feel safe playing your melody, increase the tempo. In the next step, keep the rhythmic pattern, but change the melodies. Here's an inspiration for you. Be creative and you have lots of different variations to practice. Create rhythms, create melodies and improvise. Apart from using ghost notes and accents, you can use all the sounds I showed you in the first workshop. Let's end this workshop by improvising using only the hand-to-hand -hand technique. If you enjoyed watching this workshop, give me a thumbs up or drop me a line. See you next time.